Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Finally, today I waited for it. It's a mildly windy day and I hope it's enough to show you today's product, which is the Toptes Digital Anemometer. And if you don't know what an anemometer does, basically this instrument measures wind speed. And of course, it can be useful for many applications, but in our case, drones is very, very useful. And I had bad experiences, of course, with drones and wind. One day I was with the old Mavic Mini 1 and that drone couldn't withstand the wind at all, like it was 30 km per hour wind, probably, and the drone started drifting away from me and I almost risked losing it. Managed to land and saved it, but I was really, really scared. So a tool like this can really help you fly safer and decide if it's worth flying or not. And before I open the box and show you what's inside, please remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know if you ever had bad experiences with drones and strong winds, because for sure I had a lot of them. And as always, remember to check out the description down below if you want to buy this tool. It's like 30 bucks on Amazon, super fast shipping and also very nice. The company reached out to me and if you go through the links down below, you get 10% off. This is up until the end of April 2023. So if you're late, I'm sorry, but before further ado, let's go. Let's open this cool looking box and see what's inside. So first of all, you get an information booklet. And this is nice because look, it has a lot of pages, a lot of languages and a lot of pictures. So it will be easy to use your anemometer. And of course you have the instrument itself. I'm gonna talk about it in a moment. And on the bottom, there is a carrying pouch and some batteries. And as you can see, boom, it slots in and it fits very, very high quality, soft felted fabric. Nice. And this detail surprised me the most. If you read here, the batteries are from Duracell, which is a premium battery manufacturer. And I never found Duracell batteries included in any product. And this is attention to detail. Wow. And now it's finally time to talk about the instrument itself. It's already spinning. It's super sensitive. I like the design and the build quality is very, very nice. It's sturdy, even if it's entirely made of plastic, kind of lightweight at 135 grams, 14 centimeters, 5.5, 2.5. And now it's finally time to show you its features. So this is of course the fan that measures the wind speed, always spinning, very low resistance. Here you have a temperature and humidity sensor inside these grills basically. And this is a 2.26 inches screen, very easy, easily readable. Let's turn it on with this button. You can see the numbers are big, very easy to read during day. And if it's night, you just press the, this button down here and you have backlight. So it's easy to read at night as well. And now let's talk about measuring ranges. The wind speed goes up to 108 km per hour. The Temperature goes up to 60 degrees. I hope you don't need it. <laughs> the relative humidity goes up to 99.9%. And now let's talk about what the buttons do. Of course, this is the power button. This is the Celsius and Fahrenheit switch for the temperature. This unit one is for the wind speed unit, kilometers per hour, knots, miles per hour, feet per minute, feet per second, meters per second and again kilometers per hour which is the easiest ones for hours in Europe. <laughs> this button right here is the hold and backlight combo. If you press it fast it holds the value it's currently at so you can uh, read it later if you need it and if you press again it starts live capturing again. If you keep it pressed backlight and finally let's talk about this red button down here. This is the maximum minimum average value. Right now it's in live mode. So whatever happens, it registers live, as you can see. If you press the max, it only registers the maximum value, as you can see, and it keeps it there. If you go to minimum, it registers the lower value. Of course, it stopped, so the lower is zero. But if you are in a very, very windy environment, it will tell you the minimum wind speed. The average, it averages, of course, between the high and the lows. And if you keep it pressed, it goes to the live mode again. And if you see this timer icon up top, it's automatically engaged every time you turn it on. This is the auto turn off. So every 10 minutes it turns off automatically, of course. If you don't want it to turn off automatically, you can remove it by pressing this button down here and the power on. Boom. Now it will never turn off until you manually do it. If you want to turn off automatically again, Boom, you just power cycle and you are there again. And that's pretty much it for this instrument. 
And of course, in order to use it properly, you have to point it the direction the wind is facing. In my case, it's this way, you point it there, and of course, you see, it starts spinning. And it can be also 180 degrees. All it is, the fan has to channel the wind through it. That's, that's pretty much it. And now the wind is around one kilometer per hour. It's very, very slow wind. But always remember that if you're flying with drones, what you measure at ground level is not what it is up above. So right now it may be four kilometers per hour, but then it's 10, 30 meters up. If the higher you go, probably you're going to encounter stronger winds because there are no obstacles blocking in the wind. So always take it as a reference, but remember the higher you go, the worse it is probably. So be safe. And this is a nice instrument to have to be safer. And that's pretty much it for this review. As always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know if you think this is useful or not. And as always, check out the description if you want to buy it. Remember 10% off up until April the 30th of 2023. Stay safe, <laughs> safe this time and happy flying. Bye.